You want 4K, let's do 4K. <laughs> you want to shoot video in 4K? <laughs> Lester, what are we playing here? I'm playing uh, Solemn. And Ian made a comment about oh. this guy's ass. Oh, about the... <laughs> the oh, oh, <laughs> Sprite on this guy's... Yeah. And I was like... Well you, defined. Yeah. You. It feels like he's you. wearing nothing at all. <laughs> nothing at Watch all. Watch your on YouTube. <laughs> Stupid sexy flannery. Oh, that's funny stuff. <laughs> all right. Thirsties? Flea market? Yeah, let's go Thirsties first. Alright. I get to show you how my camera mount works. God damn, it's beautiful today. How you doing, Lester? Look at this, man. This reminds me of like back in the day when we were in school. What? Oh yeah, the potholes? God damn it. Every time we drive and you, know, you see the camera shake, it's because of these f***ing potholes. Winnipeg is plagued with them. On St. James, there's a fucking huge one. And it was filled with like water and still a little bit of snow. Oh. Mm. So where do you guys want to go first? Flea market? Or you want to get breakfast or something? Yeah, we got the small car today. Awesome. <laughs> fucking giants in the car. Okay, see? This is my new mount right here. Oh, nice. And that's dollar store. Yep. Everything is oh, dollar wow. store. Hello. Mm -hmm. What's up? Because my last video That's was shaking sweet. too much. It's for cell phones, and I modified it to put a GoPro How does, on uh, it. Have you watched? That's awesome. Watched footage from it already? Nope. Today was the first day using it. Okay, hold on. I gotta get a picture of that and put it on Facebook. Like, hey. Follow us on Facebook.com forward slash Thrift Dwellers. I can't do it as good as you, Lester. Sorry, bro. The sun's in the. Yeah, take a picture of that and then. On Facebook, like, hey, we've upgraded one. <laughs> That's how we roll, son. <laughs> Thirsty's flea yeah, market. Do you chain it to my neck? Shell. Okay, promise we're gonna buy another case that has open mic on the side. Right now, your case is it waterproof? Weatherproof. Weatherproof. It has a skeleton back. Wally said he had a guy who had a whole bunch of like, everything that he was doing. <laughs> yeah, that's how you had that. You yeah, I remember we said come back, lot. but we didn't go back last. Like I had a freaking crossbow. <laughs> Just walking around with a crossbow. <laughs> We're not filming nothing, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> don't film me today, man. I'm sick as fuck. Oh, yeah? oh you, you caught it now, hey? Oh, it's yeah. bad. Look at somebody got a box there. Anything in it? Okay. 50 bucks. It's a good down payment. <laughs> That's funny, that box alone, right? 300 bucks, it's ridiculous. <laughs> so, what's new? Anything gravy here? Yeah, I got some good PSP games. Who plays PSP? <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> Look at this guy, he got some Sega Saturn games. Yeah, oh my, he got Golden Axe. 95 bucks! Got it. I want the Golden Axe. Oh, uh, Shinobi. I saw that too. Said, I got that for 50 cents on Rare Replay. But it ain't real. I have a seal before you. I know. <laughs> DVDs for movies that are kind of interesting.
the front there. No. Too busy. Yeah. It's, so, it's a lot of hard work. Uh, just, it is hard work. Right? And there's another convention in April now, so. Yeah. <laughs> Can I look? Are those your manuals? Do you mind if I take a look at them? What are you going to give me? Fifty cents? Five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I come here for the customer service. Yeah. Yeah. And the best game ever. I love this game. That is a good game. Mario 2? Nothing you're willing to pay 50 cents for, eh? I don't want to make an offer and insult my friend. Yeah. I would just say no. Yeah, exactly. That's it. No insults here. Just nope. I just say no, sir. Now, I was looking at this one game Billy the Wizard. Which one? Billy the Wizard. Oh. It's a fun game. Which system? With a Wii. Wii. It'd probably use your uh, well, you know, your thing you, like a wand or something. I don't when know. you get to a point where you've, you've got you everything you want. You know what I sold in Wii the other day was Punch-Out. Oh, that's oh, a yeah. good game. Yeah. 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 No, there's nothing else I need or want anymore, so I'm trying to find stuff that might be good. It was 15 bucks. A guy got me down to 10 bucks. Uh oh. Yeah. You bent on that, eh? For the Wii. Well, what are you going to do? for the Wii. The guy's twist my arm. Actually, you need us here to twist him back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Well, you got wrestling cards here, though. Look at these. Yeah, they sell. They Why sell. would you know somebody should just buy the whole box off you? Well, I've had offers, but what am I going to charge? If, if that's the thing, what am I going to charge for the whole box? Yeah, people probably buy it five dollars a car. Damn. I'll buy you this offer for five bucks. What is it? I don't know. Ultraman. Yeah, give me five bucks. <laughs> you gotta get somebody out of you. I don't think that's a very good game, but it's probably worth five bucks. There we go. So there you go. We left the flea market. First time we went, went game hunting in a while. No more podcast this week. Oh, that's right. Yeah. We might oh, skip a podcast here and there. Yeah. It's not like we have uh, set release dates for these things. It's kind of whenever we feel like we have something to talk about and can get together and sit down for like an hour. Lester, how did you feel about game hunting video? <laughs> One spot. <laughs> she's a very nice lady. And she's the best. Yeah. Like, you can't really her get again, you. and she's the she only one we bought from, right? Yeah. Can't really give her a gift one day or something. I think she would enjoy that. We just came with like a box of Ferrero Rocher or something. Yeah. Yeah. Just give her an extra Nintendo. Do you feel like that's her whole life is just that shop? Probably. Or that spot? I'm pretty sure. But no, we got some good games offer. Uh, we're heading to Ian's house right now, and we're gonna show our pickups. But Ian, how did you feel about game hunting today? Yeah. The bust for you? Yeah. This is just gouging. <laughs> well, we can talk about it right now. That's like it's, uh... there's nothing I want anymore. Yeah. You saw me picking up shit. It was like it's five bucks. Yeah, I'll take yeah. it. Well, even stuff you kind of you kind of want. Like, well, for me, anyways, because you probably have all those ones I was looking at. It's just the price is too high for. It's not worth it, you know. Like Nowadays. a lot of time, if, if they would even go down, like say if something was seventy bucks, if they would go down to fifty for certain games that are actually worth it. Then, it's just yeah. funny because like when me and Lester started, right, Lester, these prices were like they were not like this. No. That's why it's so weird for me to buy stuff nowadays. And I say it's a, it's a young man's game now. It's the same thing over and over again, sadly. It's yeah, funny. that's why we stopped game hunting videos because it's just. I don't have enough time to go anymore, and what I do, it's a bus, so it feels like a waste of time most of the time now. Yeah. Oh, well. But anyways, Ian got some sweet pickups. We're going to shoot that. I'll show off what I picked up today, too, in that pickup video. Some sweet dollar, or sweet $5 grabs. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. All right. See you in the house. Okay, what up YouTube? This is Nate from Thrift Dweller. In order to put some finality to this, I guess it's a game hunting video blog, we shot a pickup video with Ian in it. You would have saw it, Cast and Cuss edition of a, of a pickup video. But I didn't actually show the stuff that I picked up from that day, and it was some sweet $5 games that I'm gonna show you now. So I thought I might as well incorporate everything I've picked up uh, and put it at the end of this video. So yeah, this is. Nate's pickups to end this wonderful day of game hunting. This is really quick because my wife and daughter are coming home, so I want to finish this before they get here. Um, 
honorable mention because I did a whole video dedicated to it. If you haven't seen it, check it out, Street Fighter V Collector's Edition. I explained why this took so long to get to me. I didn't get it opening day or release day. I had to wait like almost a week later to get it. But I'm super happy with this game. I will do probably an in-depth review of the game if you haven't played it yet. But uh, yeah, one thing you should know about Thrift Dweller, Lester and I love Street Fighter. Grew up with it. And Ian just watched us play. You'll notice this box here. Giveaway went full and today's maple syrup has to do with that slogan right there. But as we always do it, three segments in our pickup video. First segment, shelf padding. We always do shelf padding. Some of the things here I'm going to show was actually shown in a like an interview video that I did with Noah. I called it, I think, the Nate and Noah Show episode one. We lost like the second half of that podcast. And I showed some of these games there, but obviously you didn't see because we lost it. So I'm going to show it to you now. Actually, this is... Uh, I didn't buy this game. This is from my cousin Neil. I'm waiting for this to become a Nintendo Select. I'm that cheap. Hyrule Warriors, I've been wanting to play it for a while, so I just wanted to put this in here as a shout out to my cousin Neil. Thank you for letting me borrow it. I have it, I will play it. Appreciate it, thanks man. Valley Village for $4.99 minus 30% off. The only reason this is shelf padding, it's a copy of WWF No Mercy. Great game, but I have a copy of it already, but I just couldn't put it down. Look at you can see here PNP Games tried to sell it for like 10 bucks. There you go. Really good wrestling game. A little bit dark. Part of the reason I prefer WCW and WUO uh, Revenge over that game. Same type of gameplay. THQ made it as well. So This hat is actually a sweet pickup. Look, Lester, I'm bending the beak. Now this is shelf padding because I bought it already. Uh, it was 10 bucks, but this one comes with the CD and a Dark Horse comic, uh, digital comic, included. And the first one I bought from EB Games for, I think, the same price. They didn't come with that. I would love to do a uh, review on this. And, yeah, like it says here, exclusive Dark Horse comic, original soundtrack CD. I saw somebody review this game, like, maybe a year ago, and it looked really good, but it got poor reviews. So I want to judge it myself. This was at uh, Value Village for, I think, 5 bucks, minus 30% off. Daniel Craig replaces all the James Bonds. Uh, what comes in this? There's the games in here were uh, based on the movie Goldfinger, Moonraker, Die Another Day, On Her Majesty's Secret Service, which is a James Bond I haven't watched yet, and License to Kill. Now, love James Bond movies. I think Sean Connery, probably a lot of people would agree, is probably one of the best James Bond just because he has that swagger. But Daniel Craig grew on me. A lot of people don't like him as Bond. I personally like his Bond movies, so. A lot of non-gaming pickups here. $4.99 minus 30% off at Valley Village. Wayne Gregsy 3D Hockey. I don't have it yet. Didn't care if I got it. That's why it's shelf padding. And this is from PNP Games. They probably couldn't sell it, so they shipped them all off to the thrift store. PNP Games is a local uh, video game, retro video game store in our city, so yeah. Round two, as we always do, ding, ding, ding. No chips. Games that I actually wanted to get. Now this bag of games here I'm going to show. A lot of people will probably classify it as shelf padding to be honest with you. But since the lady who we bought it from, really sweet girl, I don't want to put her pickups, pickups from her as shelf padding because yeah. Sure. I Had the Beholder by Capcom. Probably a really bad game, but I've been itchy to get it for a while just to try it out. I grew up like with the Commodore 64 and there was a lot of Dungeons and Dragons games on there. And you literally have to draw out your maps back in the day. I used to do that on my loose leaves and stuff just to get through that game and I think those games are so much better to people like in their memory because you had to put a lot of your imagination into the game and you really made the game your own so uh, that's one of the things like for new games today you don't have to imagine shit like the graphics are beautiful there's like a gazillion polygons so you don't need to imagine nothing. Uh, this generation is doomed. Sigma Star by Namco on the Game Boy Advance. I'll put the value here I don't know what it's worth Five dollar pickup, couldn't go wrong. For the Game Boy, Spider-Man 2. I bought it because Carnage was on the front label here. Literally, it is so minty, as people would say. Like, really? Since when did we start like grading cartridge values and stuff like that? Lester said this was a bad game, but it's a Natsumi game. It is Natsumi Championship Wrestling, NCW. It can't be that bad. Okay, there's
There's the gameplay. Was it bad? Values here. Is this a good pickup? Should this be in shelf padding? Comment below. Another game from PNP Games. This one was five bucks as well. Ultraman by Bandai. Probably a really shitty game. <laughs> But I've seen it for a while, like I might as well pick it up for five bucks on cartridge based games. You can't go wrong anymore nowadays. So. But still, thank you to our friend at the flea market. She's an amazing woman. Always have a great time talking to her. Always gives good deals. So if you're ever in Winnipeg, find us and we will show you where she is. Every time I got something extra, I put it in this box and I said once it's full, we will give it away. And we've been saying it for a while, but like we still have a contest that's open that I want to finish up. But this thing is full of really good shit, to be honest with you. And this stuff couldn't fit in the box. Just free little Pokemon things from uh, McDonald's or whatever. But like I said, this has to do with the maple syrup pickup of the video. But before we get to that, just because the thrift store is so shitty, I shouldn't swear, just because the thrift store is so bad at video games, one of the things that I do like picking up are Blu-rays and DVDs. $2.99, Valley Village, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the beginning. Have no clue, but it's Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Asylum, probably a really bad movie. $2.99. Okay, Encino Man, damn! This movie had it on VHS. I got it from like Columbia Club or whatever. Watch this movie tons. Brendan Fraser, probably an underrated actor, but he always did stupid movies or whatever. I always liked his hair in this movie. And you got good old Polly Shore. The freaking, that good dude was king in the 90s. That guy could get any woman he wanted. Ninth Gate, Johnny Depp movie. DMX, One More Roads Cross, Angel. DMX, I think, is making a comeback on my YouTube suggested videos, on my uh, Instagram feed or whatever. This dude's been featured a lot, man. And I think people are starting to appreciate his music. Lester, am I wrong? Comment below, let me know. But I think DMX music is coming back, man. It's in Deadpool, Mortal Kombat, Anthology, five bucks, whatever. And The Running Man, Arnold Schwarzenegger. This movie was pretty much like a gigantic video game. I wish they would make a movie about this, or a video game about this. And I failed in my video because I wanted to finish it before my family got home. Hi, babe. How are you? Okay, giveaway in full. PNP Games. This is Maple Syrup Pickup of the video. PNP Games recently had a uh, special where you trade in consoles and you get like more of a premium when you trade them in for store credit. PS2s, which I have a ton. I have like 20 PS2 consoles. I just had to put the wires and everything together, made sure that it worked. I got $40 per console. Some of the price tags are still on those consoles when I traded them in, said like $3.99, $2.99. Whatever. I left it on because, you know, it's a retail store. Well, it's one of the advantages of doing business with a store like that. I picked a bunch of this stuff up. I don't know how much of this I'm going to give away, but a lot of these are going to be given away to you. Uh, this one plays Nintendo. I thought it was a really cool colorway for 25 bucks. Couldn't go wrong. I picked one of these up for my cousins and probably picked up one for you guys. Uh, stay tuned to the channel, subscribe now. And you won't miss the contest. Retron 3, 2.4 gigahertz edition. Oh my god, amazing. And I think this is the coolest. It's a Retro Duo, or Retron 2, sorry. $64.99 retail, but with my trade-ins, I pretty much got this for like pennies on a dollar, honestly. Cool, really, really cool box. Shows you how it works and stuff like that. But again, if you guys have experience with this, let me know how they work. I've had one and it burnt out on me, but it was like the first edition Retron ever. You know what I mean? So you're probably still learning everything. But yeah, pennies on the dollar to get this stuff. And pretty much as a thank you to you guys, we'll find a way to be giving this away soon. So subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys very much for watching. Leave your comments below. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook.com slash Thrift Dwellers. Thank you very much for watching this video blog.